And this is Steve with Pretty and Things. And if you are having problems with your Galaxy S20 FE or other uh, Galaxy 5G phones, This is Dee, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. Well guys, I am back, back, back with a quick new video. And this one, I consider a PSA, public service announcement for those of us who um, got new Galaxy S20 phones, particularly the, uh, the FE, the fan edition. I, like many of you, have been having consistent persistent problems with connectivity and other issues. And I have found what is likely the fix for many of you as it was for me. But before I get into it, you guys, please, please, please do not forget to subscribe, subscribe to this channel, you guys. And please, please, please turn on those notifications so you are aware whenever I upload a great a new video just like this this one so let's get right into it <clears throat> so if you purchase the new a uh, galaxy s20 fe phone you in all likelihood have been having a few problems common problems with this phone that have been reported are connectivity the fact that it's slow the touch screen not working properly in addition to those issues two very annoying issues for me were one the smart lock where you can set your trusted places like for example at home so you didn't have to use your fingerprint or pen number and also i was having problems with uh, the voice to text i pressed the microphone and it would initialize it to say initializing 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 um, to, I mean, I just had the last straw with this and I called, my carrier is T-Mobile and I called them. Firstly, I called them three weeks ago and reported the issue. The guy did the troubleshooting, didn't work. So I called again and I was like, this is it. Either you're going to, you know, check to see if there's a service issue or you're going to replace this Call. I spoke to a gentleman, a gentleman named Quan in technical support, and I have to shout him out because he resolved this issue for me. And immediately he told me that the problem was the SIM card. Now, like many of you, whenever I upgraded my Samsung phone, I just switched my old SIM card into the new device. But with these new 5G phones, Samsung created a special 5G SIM card and you cannot simply put your old SIM card into the new device. You must use this SIM card. And um, you guys, I didn't know this. And my, I'm making this video because my guess is a lot of you didn't know this either. And in speaking to technical support, they didn't know this until recently. Now, if you went to a store, I can almost assure you no one told you this. And again, I spoke to a technical support person in the past. He didn't tell me this. So you guys, if you are having problems, be sure to switch to your 5G SIM card. This is mandatory. When I spoke to Quan in technical support, he told me that because I was using my old SIM card, I was only getting LTE service as opposed to the 5G. I was not provisioned correctly to the T-Mobile network. And as such, that impacted my connectivity, the touchscreen, and things like location, which enabled me to do the uh, smart lock. So what he did was have me switch out the old SIM card and add this new one that came with the device and he provisioned me on the uh, T-Mobile system and voila, it worked you guys, it worked. So I don't know if um, you guys were told this, the technical support people told me that uh, many of them were not told this until recently. They had been receiving lots of calls on the uh, connectivity and touchscreen issues with the uh, S20 FE and this has been the fix oftentimes. So if you are having consistent and persistent issues with your Galaxy S20 FE and you have not 
replace your SIM card, you have to do it in order for it to work properly. It is mandatory. If you have not done this, it will definitely impact not only your service, but the phone performance. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of more tips that might help you with your Galaxy S20 F. Now, I am not a technical person, but these are the tips that have helped me resolve most of the issues I was having with my Galaxy S20 FE. Give them a shot. Let me know what you think and if they help you as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, thumbs it up, you guys. Thumbs it up. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My handles will be either here, below, or both. So, till next time. Mwah.